Hello guys, we are from Red Cross Youth and today we will be telling you more about depression and one effective solution that we have come up with to raise awareness of this mental health issue among youths. So firstly, we will be talking about what is mental health. Mental health includes our emotional, psychological and social well-being. One in four people in the world will be affected by mental disorders at some point in their lives. And around 450 million people are currently suffering from such conditions. These are the things that we will be focusing on today. Firstly, we will be focusing on depression. We will share on what is depression and why is it an important issue that we would like to focus on. Secondly, we will share our solutions to help raise awareness about mental illness among youths. Now we will see a series of slides about depression. Why are you so depressed? Just cheer up lah. No, stop. Your friend is currently diagnosed with depression. What is depression? Depression stands for Major Depressive Disorder. It's a common and serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you act. Huh? Then isn't depression just a bit sad? Can't she just cheer up? No, depression is a very serious illness, which has to be dealt with carefully. Those who suffer from depression cannot just become happy whenever they want to. Oh, how do I know whether someone is depressed though? Some symptoms of depression include aggressiveness, irritability, anxiousness, and restlessness. Some behavioral changes that you may observe, a loss of interest, no longer finding pleasure in favorite activities, feeling tired easily, and even having suicidal thoughts. Depression also affects physical well-being, such as having greater fatigue, changes in appetite, pain, and headaches. Okay, I kind of get it, but what exactly causes depression? Some of the causes are the family history of depression or another mood disorder, early childhood trauma. The brain structure would also increase the chance of someone getting depression. Additionally, medical conditions such as chronic illness, insomnia, chronic pain, or attention deficient hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, can also increase your chances of developing depression. If depression is so serious, shouldn't there be drugs to cure it? No. It's currently impossible to cure depression with drugs. The best way to help your friend is to help her access professional treatment, which can give her the right support she requires. Oh, wait, so maybe I should not talk to him about depression? Actually, many think that talking about the depression would make it even worse. But in reality, talking about it is so much better than keeping it to themselves. (laughs) Haha. So, How can you help someone diagnosed with depression? Firstly, lend them a listening ear. Let your friend know that she is not going through this alone. You may do so by utilizing these simple techniques. Keep asking open questions but do not be overly assertive. Validate your friend's emotions and always remember to show compassion and interest through your body language. Secondly, do not try to give them advice or fix them. You shouldn't say things like, just stop thinking about things that make you feel sad or eat and sleep healthily and you'll be better. Although they may indeed be helpful to your friend, it may not be what your friend really wants to hear. Instead, remind your friend of what you like about her and invite them to eat a more nutritious meal together. Lastly, never minimize or compare their experiences with your own. Even if you have the right intentions, comparing their experiences with others or telling them that things could be much worse does not help. Rather, validate your friend's feelings and tell her, I can't imagine how hard that is to deal with. I know I can't make you feel better. But just remember, you aren't alone. Now, we'll be introducing our game, Daunting. So, how do you play our game, Daunting? There will be four tokens and one dice. Choose one token. The youngest person in the group playing the game goes first. Roll the dice and move your token forward according to the number on the dice. If you land on a blank space or a free parking spot, nothing happens. If you land on a go to jail, you have to stay in jail for two rounds. If you land on a space marked trivia, you get to pick a trivia card. If you land on a space marked true or false, you get to pick a true or false card. Answer the question on the card that you picked and check the answer. If you got it right, you will receive five points. If your answer or answers were incorrect, You lose two points and then have to move back one space. The next player rolls the dice and the game continues. 
The person with the highest number of points, five rounds later, wins. So, how is our game effective to raise awareness about depression? Many people love playing Monopoly, hence may be interested in playing our version of Monopoly too. While having fun playing the game and getting points, this would also be an invaluable opportunity for them to learn more about the truths and myths of depression and other facts about depression that will enable them to develop a greater sense of understanding towards those facing depression and know how to help them. With that, we've come to the end of our presentation. Thank you!